to another impact Bible study here at Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church. I pray that your day has been favorable. Uh, I hope that God shined on you or shone on you all day long. Amen. Um, I pray that you will have a blessed rest of the day. And I hope something tonight will be saved that can help you and inspire you to draw closer to God and draw others as well. Amen. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, I ask that you consider sowing into this ministry. It's a good place to sow into. Amen. You can use the Give Up I Have and look for Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church. Uh, you can donate like that or you can use the Cash App. It's dollar sign KBCCC. It's three C 55. Dollar sign KBCCC 55. And you will be turned on the good ground. And remember, what good thing you make happen for another, the same the Lord will make happen to you. All right, we're going to continue our study about the fiery darks. And uh, I think it's only appropriate that we make sure that we understand fiery darts and probably revisit last time lesson so that we can be in the right standing. Amen. I, want to, I want to make sure, what I'm saying is I want to make sure we have a clear understanding of what God is doing and does so we can understand how his character is. Amen. Yeah. Now, uh, we do know that fire and dark are things that inflame us or provoke us. Now, also, uh, fire and darts can be used in other fashions by the Lord. Amen. Uh, what am I getting at? What are you talking about, Pastor? Well, for the believer, Scripture says that all things work together for the good. For those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So that tells me all things don't work for your good. Right. Especially when they bad, when you're not a believer. Amen. Or when you don't really understand. It's important that we know that God's plan includes Satan. Amen. Satan's plan does not include God. Amen. That's why he knows where he's going and trying to get you to go with him. Amen. He refuses to change because he just mean like that. Amen. 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 So we're going to talk again about division. We used on last week the word faction or heresies and the Bible used it. But it's really a common English word, division. Mm -hmm. In the church. Amen. That's right. The church is, whether we care to admit it or not, is a battle. Yes, it is. Now, if Satan can divide us, he can conquer us. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, I told you last week, military strategists, they try to divide the enemy and conquer. Mm -hmm. If they can split you up, they can do more damage. Amen. You heard you heard the old saying, they're strength in numbers. Amen. So if they can divide you and split you up, they can conquer you. That's right. Amen. And and that's what's happening to the church in general. It's been divided. Amen. You said, Well, I, don't, I didn't see Satan do it. Well, you didn't have to see it. The world has done a good job of infiltrating the church. Amen. And the church allowed it. Amen. Mm. Now the Corinthian church had the same problems uh, back then that we have now. Amen. Now I want to make this clear and it's not a it's not a put down, it's an observation. If you're not careful, there can be a dismantling or division even in this church. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And, we, and I'm going to show you where a division can be used for the good. I thought you'd be happy. Amen. First Corinthians 1, a Paul, he, you know, he started out with the letter to the Corinthians church. He says, I'm, he said, I'm telling you of the many problems you have. 
And he said, but you got one big problem. And that is, you're the valley. He said, in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, and the 10th verse, he said, uh, now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now he said, I'm begging you. That's a powerful statement. He said, I'm begging you to hear what I got to say. Yeah. God, at this point in time in life, is still begging us, if you will, to see things the way he says see it. Amen. Most people don't like criticism. Mm -hmm. Even when it's constructive. Mm -hmm. Most times, people, all they want you to do is church over. <laughs> is pat them on the back. Yeah. They never want to be told you need to change what you're doing to be better. Right. Right. He preaching about me. No, we don't preach about you. The preacher preaching about you. You give them. And the Bible is good at conviction, not condemning. Amen. That's right. When you're convicted, you know where you went wrong. Amen. And you can change. God never condemned you. He's telling you this is where you're going wrong. If you were bagging off a cliff, and I'm just an illustration, you bagging off a cliff, and I raise my voice to tell you, don't take another step. You probably would be offended not thinking about I was going to fall off a cliff. But then I can't win for losing if I said in a nice tone, and you go ahead and take that next step. And don't die. And maybe if you do die, some of your folks will say, well, you could have yelled at them told me you to fall off a cliff. Now, be, now which, I can't win for losing. If I yell at you, I'm wrong. If I didn't say it loud enough, I'm wrong. If you've been paying attention, you would have done. That's right. Okay? Got it? So, 1 Corinthians said, he's out to see you. And then uh, the second part of the 10th verse said, that you. All speak the same thing that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment or the way you're going to look at things. See, most ministries that, are, that I know of that are successful, there's no micromanaging going on. They are working together as many members in one body. That's right. If, if, I've got, if, I, if I have to be the secretary, why do I need a secretary? That's right. If I'm going to be the pastor and the associate pastor and the administrator, what do I need with the associate pastor and administrator? That's right. If I'm going to be the deacon every time, deacon want to be the deacon and don't want him to be the pastor, I don't need deacon. Right. We got to learn to work together That's right. Amen. for the good in the lane we're calling. That's right. That's how we do it. We don't worry about uh, who gets the credit. Right. I, I, okay, okay, let me help you. Come on, let me <laughs> I, Yeah, I do. I take the credit. If, if that thing go right, I take the credit. Yes, I, tell, I tell them that I, well, I did a good job. Yes, sir. And when things go bad, I wait to call a meeting before I put it on y'all. <laughs> but I take the credit for the bad. I tell the good and the bad go together, right? right? But we work together. I, I'm surrounding myself, thank God, with wise counsel. Amen. Amen. And I'd be crazy not to surround myself with wise counsel and then I'm going to try to run a now the ship we running ain't big as it's gonna be. Right. But it's a it's a pretty it's a it's a yacht right now. Yeah. But it's gonna come a big ship out the wild. It it's a yacht bigger than most ships that we know about. That's right. I hope you caught that. Yeah. Okay. Now verse 12 of the first shop said, uh, it goes on to tell him, it says, I follow this person, I follow that man. It says, I follow Apollos, I follow Cephas, I follow Christ. And I might even say y'all say y'all following Pastor Vernon. But watch this. You following me, 
as I follow Christ. That's, right. That's why I have you to go along with me in your Bible. I don't teach you anything that's not biblical. Amen. You may not like what I'm teaching. You may get mad about what I'm teaching. You may think I'm smooth about what I'm teaching, but you cannot hold it against me because it's biblical. Amen. Amen. It's biblical. Got it? So we're not following me as a man. Amen. Come on. You ain't following me like you follow some organization. You got it? We're not a, watch, we're not a organization. We're not a corporation. We are an organism. We're living. Right. We're functioning. Right. We got limbs. God is the head. Amen. Come on, we're the body. Got it? So, Right. We're, we're part of we're doing we're doing we're a living organism. We're not we not just we don't just go through motions. Right. We don't aim to please. We aim to inspire. Amen. Got it? We aim to promote. Got it? Amen. So we gotta look at so watch. Uh he went on to say, is Christ about he asked what this Paul talking about? Is Christ about? Remember we talked about on last week. Our last time I think it was. There is a triune. The Bible doesn't talk about a triune for sale. Or mention the word triune. Or we can talk about the Godhead. There's, you can help me with this now. Because I want to see how smart you are on Facebook. It's God the Father. God the And God the Holy Spirit. They all make one. I don't know why I can kind of give you an illustration of that is. You ever look at a. You ever see a 3D picture. Depending on where you're looking at it from, you see a certain. Yeah, but come on, man. y'all see a 3D picture. Yeah. It, it depends on where you're looking at it, what you see. It's the same thing when it comes to the spirit. Whatever, whatever you need from the Godhead is how you're looking at it. Because what? Right now, you don't need God the Father. Amen. Right now, you don't need God the Son. Amen. But we do need God, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Which is the dwelling among us now. That's your God. Amen. Am I making sense to you? Okay. So we're we'll looking at uh, chapter 3 of 1 Corinthians, the third verse says, For ye are not come. Now, he's, a, he's, a, he, he's really a us pretty, pretty strong in that. He, you know, he says, For ye, you are yet carnal. See, spiritual and natural. Don't understand each other. Right, right. It don't. You ever, you ever, you ever, have a, you ever had a tug of war with yourself? Mm, amen. Okay, watch this. We say this sometimes. I think we say it. We say, I should have followed my first man. Yep. You had a tug of war. Yeah. And I knew I should have done that, or shouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. You know, they, that's the tug of war. So. When you don't consider God's spirit, then your carnality is going to kick in. Amen. Every time, I don't care how long you've been saved, I don't care if you love the Lord, if you do not follow the spirit and unction of God's spirit, you're going to go wrong. Amen. Amen. Nobody's exempt. Because you'll start thinking carnal. What about me? He didn't recognize me because I blew up two balloons. <laughs> okay, but we had 500 to blow up. Somebody didn't say nothing about the 498 they blew up. Amen. But you won't credit for the two. Sometimes you have to go to scripture, like in the book of Psalms, and find David. Amen. David says sometimes you have to pat your own self on the back. So I did a good job going them two balloons up. <laughs> and be satisfied. Because when you're looking for your reward down here, oftentimes you get it. Amen. Okay? And it ain't going to be like God can reward you. The second part of the third verse of First Corinthians says, You are jealous of one another mm -hmm. and you quarrel with each other. Mm -hmm. And you got to talking about something. That. Doesn't that prove you are controlled by your sinful nature, your corner? Aren't you living like people of the world? You know how the world lives. Y'all know how the world lives? I know you know a dog eat dog, but here's something I want you to remember. The world lives just like this. The world says, get all you can. Then can all you get. Sit on the lid and pause to the rest. That's what they tell you. Amen. They don't want you to have nothing. Right. 
Every dog boys up. They mean that. Yes, sir. This is what they tell you. Every dog. Yes, sir. You ever see? I don't know if y'all seen the dog. Y'all ever had a dog or seen a dog? He, he, he's eating all he can eat. Still got food in the, in the bowl. Here come another dog. It had that in the knee. The dog laid out, growled at the dog, and can't eat no more. Oh, yeah. That's the way the world is. Yeah. Got all they can get and don't want you everything. That's why it, it behooves me, and it shouldn't and it shouldn't be that way. How one percent of the people control 99% of the money. That's right. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be. But it is. Yeah. Okay? We shouldn't be doing that, it says. We shouldn't be doing that. And we shouldn't be quarreling among each other. We are. We're in the same army, Christians, believers. We shouldn't be shooting at each other with friendly pride. Shouldn't be that. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, right, Sean. You know, you shouldn't have been shooting that way, no way. The enemy that way. Shoot that way. Don't be shooting this way. Don't be shooting back there. Shoot the enemy. Y'all follow me on that? Amen. Okay, so what? We're going to go a little bit deeper, and we're going to see something. So when you start following, you say, I'm, I'm, you know, here's, here's how the jealousy comes in. Here's how self-righteousness, if you will, kick in. I'm so-and-so. You know, people come out and introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, that, and then what? Then some people don't even know who you are when you introduce yourself. And then some people don't even know who they are. That's why they had to introduce themselves. Some people don't see things like you need to see it. Right. Again, it happened just, just recently in the last event we had. I see you still letting them do what they do. <laughs> yep. Because I'm the pastor. <laughs> you know, it ain't going to change. You got a problem with it. I ain't got no problem with it. And if you ever try to let yours do what they supposed to do, then you probably have better results. Right. Got it? Then you say, I belong to such and such and place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a member of the Pharaoh Church. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, Pharaoh have you stay there here, have you making the same tally of brick without strong. And he said, you better not miss a lick. Okay? So I follow so-and-so on TV. That's why I don't come to church locally. Where I get in a tight and get in a van and call so-and-so when you get in. <laughs> Let them come to the hospital. Let them come to the nursing home. Let them bury your loved one. Let them marry you. Let them christen your child. You, if you're not following God, you're not following anybody anyway. Christ is not divided. Got it? Mm -hmm. not the, he is not divided. People that we're following, they follow. People that are not following God, they are not God. They are just men and women like me and you. Got it? Now some people say, you know, I may know more than you. You know, some people they got some people got more degrees than other That don't mean they know everything. That's right. And they said, well, let me come down to your level and tell you a thing or two. No, you need to stay where you're let me show you a thing. You got it? Some people have all the education in the world. No couple says, I'm not against education. I'm not against education. You know? Some people say, uh, they say that I'm a man of God here on earth. Follow me. Now, I, now okay. Well, Pat, I heard you say, yeah, I'm a man. I'm God's man in the earth. Yeah. Follow his directions. That's it. I'm not telling you to follow me. Because me, you follow me as I follow Christ. That's it. I don't, I don't ask you to do anything about this world that I'm not willing to do. Mm -hmm. I am a servant of the Most High, just like you should be. Amen. Am I making sense? Now, no matter who, what goes on like that, the result is division. Amen. You know, some people say some things like this. I think because you're my pastor, I should be able to talk to you. That's what they want me to take a side. Mm -hmm. That's the vision. Amen. But God gave me enough sense to consult him by his spirit. So when I when we go into our office for this meeting with them and whoever, then I let them talk. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then I said, I, and I do this, I said, well, now you tell them what you told me. 
And most times, it never comes out that way. It's always a renege or a bag it up. Right. Because I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be the one that divide no why I allow division. Got it? Yeah. And then we're not taking the talk. I'm going to show you in a minute. Because I want you, I want them to see what's really, what's what. Okay? Amen. Now, y'all may not believe this. Uh, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, we can see that it talks about, we got to understand when we see the vision that there's a reason behind it. I'm going to say something that's really paramount, and you may not believe it. When it comes to the vision in the church, God either causes it or allows it. I'm going to say it again. When it comes to the vision in the church, God either causes it or allows it. Send me out there. Are you serious? God ain't the other confusion. Remember, all things for the believer work together for the good. That's right. Of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. God allows the music. And you say, oh no, let me prove to you. You have to go to Genesis the eleventh chapter if you can. And, uh, and I'm gonna show you something because the vision is about. I gotta bag it up, or somebody on, the, on Facebook gonna send me a letter. And right here goes sit on the What? The eleventh chapter, the first verse says, Now the whole earth had one language. One language. They, they together, right? One. And one speech. They together, right? That's unity. Amen. Verse 2. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they brought there. Then they said to one another, see they are, they're speaking on one, another, on one accord. Yeah. Then they said to one another, come let us make bricks and, and bake them thoroughly. Then they had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mud or tar. And they said, come let us, they talking on one accord now, let us build ourselves a city. Watch this, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. See, they said no. They ain't said, they ain't said ah. You ain't know. You don't see no ah there nowhere. You got it? Let us make a name for ourselves. Lest we be scattered about over the face of the whole earth. Now, here, here come the question now. But the Lord, verse 5, came down to see the city and the tower which uh, some of the men had built. And the Lord said, and the Lord said, indeed the people are one. Got it? They won. And they all have one uh, language. And this is what they began to do. Now, nothing that they prom uh, propose to do will we be held from them. Why? Well, they're on one accord. Right. They speak in the same language. They all, they're thinking the same thing. They're on one accord. Y'all got that? Amen. Okay, now here comes verse 7. Come. That means more than one of them. Let us, let us, he said, come let us go down and then confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them. Yeah. You see that? So he called the vision. Y'all got that? Amen. They were on one accord. Y'all, we read it, right? Yeah. They were one language, one speech. They were thinking the same thing. They're going to build a tower to heaven. For the top be in the heaven. But God had to come down and cause the vision. Right. God, he said, let us do so more one of them. You'll probably the whole tribe. God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the he said, come let us. Go down and confuse them. Mm. Yeah. In other words, he said, what? Now he, this I confuse him. He had the administrator speaking one thing, the associate pastor speaking another language, the deacon speaking another language, the secretary, the CEO, the CFO, they couldn't understand nothing. Right. They confused. Right. I wish you made sense. I'm talking, you just don't understand my language. See, God confused them. 
He used the vision to stop. Watch it, because the Tower of Babel was wicked. Amen. Or the city. He used that to stop wickedness. He said, no matter what they propose to do, being on one mind, they're going to do it. Now, if evil can come together and work, and y'all, it's the first time y'all ever heard that before. There was a man in the, in the tombs. When Jesus went across to get them together, he said, Who are you? The man, the, the demons announced that we are legion. Legion means there are more than 12,000 are demons. And he said, We march in unison. Do not drive us from the territory. Amen. They want to stay together. But Jesus knew he had to, he ain't stupid. He had to get rid of that. A house divided cannot stand. Cannot stand. Amen. That's right. Cannot stand. So Jesus used the division or confusion that they were already doing. They weren't going to do right. Right. So why Jesus allowed, if you were by his spirit, the vision to come into the church where you can see who good witch and who's not. That's it. Amen. I don't let it take place, but if it comes in and starts in the beach of the vision, I'm going to take a stand by God's spirit and it's going to have to go. Right. right. And what? When you take a stand with what God tells you, you're not going to miss a lick. Amen. Are you listening to me? Am I making sense to you? Yeah. See, we got to understand God can take God can take bad and turn it for the good. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That was the incident not long ago here. Show me the vision. But God used the vision. And I don't know why. Satan think he can win in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Because once you take, once you learn, watch this, to abide in the Lord right. and let the Lord abide in you, right. no weapon born against you will prosper. Right. I just said one form, it will not prosper. Right. And then the standard was raised, right. what's right, then wrong had to go. Watch this. When you follow a man, all you're going to do is run into a ditch. Right. Watch. When, they, when, the, when the man left, they left with the man. But watch this. God turned they missed a lick. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's why you hear me say, I don't say that God don't tell me. God said, don't you count the number. You make numbers count. Amen. But he had to show you all at one some but up and one not me because I already knew that, listen, we didn't need what was not good anyway. Right. No, 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 no. Because you still, you weren't going to write nothing. You're not going to watch. You cannot in God's house. True. You cannot hold God's people hostage. That's right. Amen. No, as much as I let my people, my officers run things, that's just godly wisdom. They still don't run nothing. That's right. Amen. We run this thing together. We do it in a matter of excellence. In a godly manner. We pay attention to detail. We do. Amen. And people notice that. That's why they try to come to me that. I'll see you see another good. Well, you may go somewhere with that. Because <laughs> they ain't going to change. And, and the only way they're going to change is you stop coming. <laughs> That's how they're going to change. Amen. That's the only way. If people come here and they want so bad to preach, they don't want that. Why? I'm sure how God does by They want to come here and preach. I said, God ain't told me. So they don't come. Right. It's been prophesied. People don't know them. You're supposed to be right at Kingdom Building. It's been prophesied. But I won't let them preach. Did God tell me? If you don't tell me, I don't get to ever come. Because I'm not getting outside the order of God. Even with my wise counsel, and, and, and God gives me enough wisdom to know what. Here's what we are. We're not divided with one unit. I can, we, when we have our meetings or whatever we may have with officers, and we're talking about what we're planning to do and what the vision is and things of that nature. Now, what? And I love that, and I'm going to continue doing that unless God tells me different. Yet, once I counsel with God, then I counsel with nobody. Right. Amen. If, this is what I mean. If God said, Tell them. That we're going to buy two packs of hot dogs. 
and we're going to go right down into this river and throw them in there. There's no need to know about saying we should have threw them hot dogs in the river. No, God told me we were going to buy two pack hot dogs. I'm just saying, we're going to throw them in the river. Well, what's the problem with that? Because somebody down the river hungry. Yeah. Okay. Somebody got bars but they ain't got no hot dog. Mm -hmm. Somebody got some muscle that ain't got no hot dog. You see, you don't know what God's going to do. God said, do it. Amen. You feed somebody don't even know it. And then what? We throw a, two packs of hot dogs in the river. Now we get exceedingly abundant above all we can actually think. It ain't got to be hot dogs either. Amen. Could be hot dogs and hamburgers. <laughs> you got it. I mean, you know, then somebody said, you know, uh, maybe, I'm just saying, maybe the secretary slipped one of them stickers on there. Kingdom Bill, the Crimson of the Church, Fifth Pastor of the Road, and they went on that day. Well, I'm going to go into that church. <laughs> and see, and somebody died. I don't know why he threw them hot dogs there with those ball heads there. Because they was all the two. And then the one that talked about that, that's the one that ain't with us no way. So we know you, Judas. <laughs> I mean, you, are, you, are you seeing You see what God is doing? How he takes what we think is bad and turn it for good? Amen. But only he can do that now. Don't you try. Because you're going to mess up. You're going to take bad and turn it into worse. <laughs> Don't do it. Got it? So Paul says, he tell me, and, and uh, he said, there's no doubt. We, there's differences among you to show you you have God's approval. See, God wants you to see your enemy. Mm -hmm. Say, try to be sneaky. Oh, let me show, let me show you something that's out of order. And, and this happens in churches. People say something like this. I've heard it a lot more than once. Uh, come to tithe and offering. Oh, Lord, y'all, don't leave. <laughs> come on, y'all, please please do Y'all, come back. <laughs> come back. Don't walk out the door. I, I, I'm just talking about you little illustration. They still there. They still there. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> don't fall off. Why? It comes to time, I'm going to take my money, what? I'm just saying, and fix the floor in the men's bathroom. Uh, no. The order is bring the tithes and offerings to the storehouse. Right. Now we decide at our discretion if the bathroom floor gets fixed. Well, they need to be fixed. Don't take your tithes and offerings and do it. That's right. Bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse. Now take your money. You better go to the casino. I'm not the casino. I mean, go to the restaurant. Not the restaurant. The money you try to not the, not the bathroom clothes and fix the bathroom. Come, don't take God money. I hold up with you. But give what he belong to him. Then you know, that's the order of it. Amen. Amen. Okay, what? You gonna think of the order. On on our offering envelopes, it says somewhere down there. The secretary of Rock and Temple and Ministry probably can do it said at the discretion of the church. Yes. All proceeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the discretion of the church. Oh, what's up? <laughs> So you should have read the Bible. That's right. Amen. That's right. It's at our discretion. That's right. Well, the bathroom floor ain't big. We know it, but somebody needs that medicine. Right. That's right. Got it. Amen. That day, or well, somebody need to get to that loved one that day, at that particular time. That's why that the churches are at God's discretion. And he ain't gonna let it go lacking. Amen. Amen. If he, see, he used the thing he said. He said, "Prove me." He put it. He put it. Make a division right there. If I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out, he said, "Prove it to prove me." And I will make me out to be alive. The, I, and that ain't no joke, y'all. Ever since I got an understanding of that, I've been trying to make him out to be alive. It ain't work yet. I'm gonna get him one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna give it till I get it. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. But see, he he draws the vision like this. Say, you carry your money there, you bring it here. I tie before I get to church. No, you don't. No, you don't. You spend some money out there. I'll do what you do. You know, you you gotta do what you gotta do. You got it. I'm, I got I got a lesson I'm gonna teach y'all something a little later on about. Uh, the giving when God asks us to do something, okay? 
Now, um, 1 Corinthians 11, 19 says, uh, For there must also be watches, factions, though the vision among you, so that you are a genuine believer and become evident of things among you. Oftentimes, I'm going to tell you how y'all are now. This is no joke. I'm going to show you how unity works. I'm, I'm tired of giving them women all the credit. I'm, I'm just playing. <laughs> Because some of y'all look at me like, I'm okay. I, I, I have an officer. He constantly watches me. And there was something going on a little out of order the other day. And all I had to do was look at him. He immediately knew what I needed for him to do. He went and did it. Immediately. I didn't have to say nothing, just look at him. He already knew what I needed for him to do. I looked, I looked at him, he looked at me, and I looked off. He knew exactly what to do. <laughs> See, that being on one accord, one mind, or one speech without even speaking. Because he knows already we do we do stuff decent and I, I promise y'all, I can't see what my friend my business 40 40. But I know what's something out of order and all. I'm looking at everything going on. I don't care if I'm eating, drinking, free. I'm looking at everything. And I know who to look at to get something what I need done. And some of y'all don't look at me. <laughs> and be moving. I ain't got to say nothing. That's being in order. That's what they did. Been on one accord, one speech. That's what God wants us. We need lives of vision to get that message on one accord out so you can be on one accord for Him. Right. See, the more we work together, here's the one accord. If, if I trust God enough, what I say? If you trust God enough. To blow me up, <coughs> I don't want you to blow. I don't want to blow up, but then you don't blow up. Right. The more we blow up together, the more we blow up. We don't, we don't want a call. I don't want ministry debt for me only. Amen. That's right. Ministry. <laughs> we go anywhere, we got to pay out our own pocket. But we're going to do ministry. When I, when I get ready to go, and God already showed me, when I get ready to go to the I got to take a team with me. That's right. A ministry team. That's right. And we're going to do ministry. You ain't going to be my entourage. Entourage can't ride. Mm -hmm. Ministry can't. Amen. Then some of y'all all the year, you refuse to sleep with another bed other than your own. So I got to get you back. Got it? Amen. And then to, to make sure you at church, I got to be a accountant. <laughs> I got to put houses on the church accountant when you will to be at church. <laughs> the next thing you ain't got no excuse. <laughs> but you see, you see how God will let the vision come in to bring unity. Amen. That don't make really sense, does it? Right. This don't make sense either. Watch this. In the world, see the world models the Bible, and, and really a lot of churches mess up. They try to model the world. The world really models it. The, the church, watch. There's a thing called in the world peacekeeping truth. Right? I mean, that's it. You in. That's right. All the more we don't want to call it. Now, how do they keep the peace? They just don't go to say we got to keep the peace. They got guns, tanks, airplanes, drones, missiles, all kinds of stuff, right? So that sometimes you got to fight to keep the peace. I thought you were peacekeeper. Peacekeeper don't like oh, what are you read that at? <laughs> what are you read that at? They, they, they fight. Preachers have to fight. Uh, so you're in a spiritual warfare mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. People think because you are a Christian, you don't fight. Now, I said, people, I said, y'all, some of y'all ready to fight now. <laughs> right now. 
I'm going to show you something. I'm, I'm going to show you about not feeling the Bible when you have the Bible. Because some people, you know, you got to listen. Lady T and Remodel. The house. And me. <laughs> so, the world, instead of him telling her, he tells me what it is that ought to be done. I'm like, no, this is what she wants done. Well, if I was, I said, but you ain't paying me, I'm paying you. So you need to do what she wants done, because you ain't going to have to stay here when you leave. <laughs> so, and she says, Bernard, I won't. And I'm like, I already know. Tell him. And then I, I had to let him know. I said, You working for us. Give up what you want. Well, I, I've been trying to save the money. Listen up. You working for us. Give her what she want. That's right. So I can sleep tonight. That's what she wants. Because I don't need no 3 in the morning, but you know, uh, Brother, uh, I, I really don't want that. I don't, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to be taking nothing back tomorrow. That's right. To get what she could have got at first. That's right. Well, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a fight. Mm -hmm. He doing the best he can, but I know her. <laughs> and if she won't black, I ain't never seen black before. Now you gonna see it. <laughs> That's right. You gonna see black. You gonna see black now. I mean, I would. No, you gonna see black. I'm going back out to a certain knob, color knob. I'm like, I'm, okay, I'm taking that. I'm like, but that's what she want. But see, now the, you can avoid some fights or some things you have to fight. People mean way. The, the, hey, I will refer him to anybody. He means well. But sometimes I let him know you ain't at home. This is not your house. If we want to paint it polka dot, you got it. You got better got to do. You know, so, so we always in a fight, even to do right. Amen. What? I, I, I have one of my. I, I'm just telling. I'm telling y'all Facebook because these officers don't believe nothing I tell them. <laughs> it's coming. Great. I had an officer the other day coming out. They telling me like they been a warfare over something. They trying to get done for the event on last Sunday. They got men that left out the store. <laughs> I said, that's definitely a kingdom building. <laughs> Getting mad. I mean, that's bad and mad. We want to fight. Yeah, go, to the go out the woods and listen, I had to go pray. Good. I'm glad we had a prayer campaign going on. We had to go out and get on the prayer campaign and go back in like ain't nothing out. Had to fight within yourself. self. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You say a faith is a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Got to fight within themselves to get Satan off of them. See, we're in a warfare. You, are, are, you, are you getting this? See, God will use it. And then what? You have to go back in like nothing ain't never happened. That's why what? This is why forgiveness is very important. More people don't see this. Oh, man, I'm the most out of time. People don't see this. Oftentimes, just as much as you... No, not all the time. All the time. Just as much as you really to forgive the person that got it all against you, you have to forgive yourself. Right. Right. And come back like nothing ain't never happened. Right. I'm serious. You have to go back and get the stuff like ain't just the same one come again like that. But <laughs> well, a minute ago, she had to kill somebody. You know, talk about peace be still. Tell me I got a piece of steel. No, peace be still. <laughs> Not a piece of steel. Nobody talking about no smelt and western. Y'all been watching too much there. <laughs> but see, God, that's why God allowed us what the division where you can see yourself. Right. Or see who's with you. Or who, see, we're in Palestine. You don't watch it, here it come. You don't need anybody with you that ain't going to pray with you and for you. That's right. You do not want to hear everybody praying for you. No, you do not. Not in this day and time. Amen. You want somebody that can get results. Right. That's why you must come to the house of prayer and they got to be on one accord where we can get something done. That's right. There are a lot of people getting a, they getting a word from God because they're coming through me. They're looking at me. That ain't me talking. I ain't got no word for you. 
God is trying to tell you to battle through me that you better make a move and don't, don't make your, listen, you can't make your move too soon. If you you better not make it too late. Right, right, right. You're going to mess around and not move, and the only thing you're going to see is close here, that casket closing on you. That's it. And you don't be in the right place. I ain't talking about being in the casket. Your, your, your spirit ain't, your soul ain't going to be messed up. Going to the wrong place. We gotta be in unity. We can uh how we will never what did I just say? Never. We will never be the battle laws on the head of this ship. That's right. Never. Mm -mm. If I if I just say take it off faith before the Sunday, we're gonna talk today. Yeah. That's right. We, we no no, this ain't gonna no the, we, hey I tell y'all, I'm gonna get some t shirts made. Kingdom Builders, my, my, my second thing I'm going to make, Kingdom Builders got the syndrome nipping in the bud. We're going to nip it in the bud. Well, I ain't going to let that. Boy, you better watch the Mandy Griffin. Barney said nip it in the bud. Don't let that stone run on. Right. <laughs> you know, and then we have to be peacekeeping everybody. Ain't nobody getting more than one book. I'm going to let you shoot one time. You ain't shooting no everybody. I'm gonna shoot them, I'm gonna shoot Pat, and now you ain't gonna end up on the book. But we're gonna be peacekeepers. See what? It's too much riding on us. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Man, I wish y'all could hear that. Yeah. I wish y'all could hear my spirit in that. It's too much in committing the community riding on us. Yes, sir. I ain't talking about just what down here, I'm talking about what we stay. Yeah. The city, state. Everything is riding on you. Listen, y'all. People are looking at us. Yes, sir. I ain't talking about we we ain't on no stage to perform for nobody. Right. We doing kingdom work. Right. Amen. That's why a lot of people can't understand, ministers can't understand, when I said we don't do the church thing. Right. What you mean? I said, what I said. Right. We ain't just churching. We doing the work of the church. Right. That's why it ain't going to be long. I mean, the question going to come before you. Are you ready for full-time ministry? It's going to come to you. It ain't going to be long. And you got to be ready to turn loose worldly stuff. Amen. A full-time ministry. And it won't be minimum wage full-time ministry. Because y'all going to be doing too long. Too much, I'm going to say. Every, I mean, every day. Right now, right now, we got enough to do that'll run us five days a week. I ain't joking. Amen. Soon as soon as God show me where the money is coming, then we're gonna enter. Then that's when the question gonna come: Are you ready for the full time ministry? Amen. You should be ready now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we and, and we're gonna and, and, it, and it's gonna be. It's not going to be a sacrifice. It's going to be a service. Amen. Yeah. To reach the lost. Then we can boldly declare, like we always do every Sunday, they want to measure the success in this ministry right, right. by transforming lives. That's right. If I can't help transform the house of God lives, then how am I going to reach the masses? Right. I got to help transform lives in here. If you're doing the Pharaoh, and, and Pharaoh cheat you. Then you ought to come to work for the Lord who ain't going to cheat you. Right. Amen. And pay you just like Pharaoh did, even more. Got it? Amen. That, that's the order of this, of this ministry. That's, the, that's part of the vision in the church. No, just so you know, those that want to be a part of there won't be eight hour days. There'll be four or six hour days. You ain't working eight no way, but yeah. Amen. <laughs> you get about five. In three quarters. You ain't doing no eight hours. Don't you ain't fooling me. You went to the back room six times. On six ten minute breaks, so that makes seven hours. Oh wow. I mean, you know, you know, it took sixty minutes. I thought, come on now. Amen. You went at break time, then went they took five more breaks. At ten minutes. So I'm off the level. And then you sat there thinking about what you're gonna do for fifteen minutes. I'm just saying, I listen, y'all ain't been saying all the time. Amen. I ain't no more cheating on the job. Amen. <laughs> Come on. I'm just saying, you know, but if, if, I, if I get you on six, you're going to give me, I'm going to get five, pick a five. 
Because you ain't going to give me a secret and then not that you can have it. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, and then, that's why we have a cafeteria right at the, where we at. <laughs> so you can't go out for lunch. <laughs> Amen. Ha! You go right to the cafeteria and I'm going to come on back. Uh, and I'm going to have it like you do. Go in that bed and go, doo, 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 and you go back to your desk. <laughs> Go get back on the phone. Amen. Go get back on the computer. Whatever you thought to be doing. Yeah. Go back in the sound room. Go back in the editing room. Wherever you're supposed to be. Go back into the Bible Institute. Wherever you're supposed to be. Get back on the lawnmower. Ah, whatever. I'm just saying. Got to have grass cover. Back to the people. Get in there and clean up. I ain't clean up. All the officers. Officers clean up too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> They clear up too. They told me I had off the dives uh, last week. That dude was what? They said that dude was so hard. He was oh, 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 good. 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 Who was it? Man? I got to do something for that officer. <laughs> I'm prisoners. <laughs> and then one officer, this one, one officer told me, yeah, God, we need some training. One officer told me that you got a perfect time, my pal. That's what it is. We threw. <laughs> that also needs some training. <laughs> I'm gonna see them take the training school. Talk about the math on time. <laughs> Your timing is perfect. Uh, what is perfect. it? We finish. <laughs> so, what not for the video, somebody? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't. Nobody told me on that. But those are the things. Okay, the vision. And God's house oftentimes is allowed by God. Why? So we can see where we are as believers. So to make sure we're working on one accord. That's why I tell y'all, I'm serious. Um, nobody, nobody really can come tell me anything about any of my people. I'm not saying it won't be true. I said they couldn't really come tell me. But I'm not, they're not gonna see me take side in front of them. Now, if I think it's so, then I'm going to say, Dante, I need to talk to you. Were you at the bumper gun machine? Yep. <laughs> what kind of thing, though? Yes, sir. Okay. A was it your bumper gun you got? Or was it somebody had a bumper gun? Well, it was already in there, pal. Oh, wait, that was it your bumper gun. <laughs> it's an ebony bumper. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, you know <laughs> that, see, People tell you things to try to divide you. Yes, that's right. Okay, okay. That, maybe that's too much. Maybe in your relationship. Okay. Mm. I can hear this sometimes. I don't hear, you don't hear much. I see your wife very well. I said, good. <laughs> You'll never be with her. I said, that's because I don't want to be. <laughs> you ain't just a what? Her being there what? No, I ain't just her being there what? Because all the time, I'm like, uh, here, you go wrong. <laughs> what, what, what? I care. I'm not jealous. You just trying to find out what up. Mm -hmm. my, me and my wife talk all the time. I said, as long as you keep our business among us, it'll be our business. Right. Another folk try to get in my business, I love everybody I come across. You try to get in my business, I'm going to quick to get you out of it if I didn't invite you. I'm serious. I ain't got but one person I can deal with. That's a gangster. <laughs> now, some people come here how to take over. Mm -hmm. Just come here how to take over. Get in your favorite chair, take your remote, <laughs> take your TV, <laughs> drink out your coffee. <laughs> and then I like they can't do nothing. Then, and then I call you and I'm sitting in your chair. Mm -hmm. I'm coming, you want to fight. Mm -hmm. Better be better than my office telling the word. <laughs> but that, that's not right. But we gotta stay unified. Amen. Okay? Amen. We don't let you know. You don't let in there. It's like one day I, I'm gonna tell you how serious it's been. It's like one day they said, you know, they, they didn't say it to me. They didn't know say it. They're like, the pastor ain't saying nothing. Uh, he telling the social guy, and the social fellow telling the deacon, and the deacon. I'm like, uh, ain't that how we do? Ain't that, ain't that the picking on? I mean, they have to be done. Ain't it? I mean, if I if I know something, we need something done. I tell my associate. Then my associate carried down what need to be carried down to. And that's what it means. So how we got order? 
And then they, they really were saying that, and, and, and he don't know what he's talking about. That means that they mean he really tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sneaky trying to tell me that. But it didn't stop nothing. Right. Right. Cause we we are we march in order. Amen. Yep. We are the church like none other because we follow order. Amen. I I ain't saying we better than about it. I don't know any other church that I know of trying to follow order. Amen. I'm not saying it's not as I don't know of any. Right. Are you are you are you hearing what I'm saying? And Lord, if we follow order, you cannot get who wants promises? Who wants the promises of God? Amen. I said, Facebook, I ask you who wants the promises of God. <laughs> you cannot get the promises without persecution. Amen. Right? Amen. Right. And persecution is your measuring stick. Mm -hmm. If folk ain't talking about you when you're doing right, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. I'm serious. I don't know if nothing about me. You ain't doing nothing right. Am I making sense? Amen. So the division, remember again, God allows it sometimes. Amen. And sometimes he causes it. Yes. Remember? How did he cause it? He confused the language of the people of Babylon. Amen. <laughs> so they could not finish the tower. He said, if I don't do something, they're going to do this wicked thing they're trying to do. Now, you know if they build a tower to help them, they're going to try to take over them. Right. You already know. Right. For what? Why did, here's why it's important. Why cannot I enter into the kingdom of heaven? Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood, can you do it? That's right. Now, you know good well, they done made, a, if they done made that point go to the pearly gate, they're going to try to walk through. Because yes, you know who's building that tower. Some of y'all. <laughs> they gonna walk through that without permission. Yep. And then there we go. We won't allow that. Got it? Amen. I hope that you got something. Amen. I hope it's been a blessing to you. Amen. The vision for the believer works together for the good when you love the Lord and call according to his purpose. Remember, stay in faith, stay focused. And stay connected. The kingdom builders, Christians, and the church. We are the church. Like none other. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Amen.